um, quarter scale model and then um, a full chassis model. As the model makers craft out the car in miniature, the design team suffer a blow. With little warning, the Grand Prix rules are drastically changed. Outlawed are the special aerodynamics invented by Chapman, which led to the wing era, with cars using their body contours to grip the road like leeches. The new rules demand flat rather than sculptured underbodies, and this calls for even more models and wind tunnel testing. So the revised versions are packed off to assess the effects of the changes. Lotus uses the excellent facilities of Imperial College in London for wind tunnel testing, which has been a vital part of the Grand Prix designers' weaponry for several years. Here, working with the Department of Aeronautics, a great deal can be learned from the computerised wind tunnel and rolling road. Different configurations of body shape can be analysed and assessed with great accuracy. It is a highly sophisticated technology with the sciences of aeronautical and automobile engineering complementing each other as they reach into the unknown. test begins, the digital figures flick up. The simulated speed will reach over 100 miles an hour. The computers will divulge information that in the months to come could help make the 1983 John Player Special a winner. The airflow is checked in minute detail. How much of last year's downforce will be lost due to the new rules? It is all a far cry from the early days of Colin Chapman's career when the shape of the chassis was literally chalked out on the floor. Chapman had started designing racing cars in the early 1950s. <laughs> 